We are working on Gmetrics Excel Expert Practice Exam Number 2, currently on the fifth project called Computer Retail Store. Task 1 asks us to go ahead and go to the Computer Sales Worksheet, which we're on, and we're going to add to our chart a linear tread line. So let's go ahead and select our chart. We got the little plus arrow here, and what we want to do is click Trend Line, and we want to click Linear, and it tells us that we want to do it for the notebook sales. We'll go ahead and click OK. We'll click Mark Completed. Task 2 asks us to go to the Pivot Table and Chart uh, Worksheet. And what we're going to do is add a slicer to the Pivot Table. So we're going to go to the Analyze tab here uh, Analyze tab here at the top. And we have that because we clicked in this chart. We're going to click Insert Slicer. And the only thing we want is Category. We'll click OK. It tells us to go ahead and apply the slicer style Dark 4. So we'll go ahead and click the drop down here. And this is the slicer style dark four, and it tells us to position that underneath this pivot table. So we'll click Mark Completed. Task three asks us to stay on this uh, worksheet, and we're going to group the category uh, below the store location. So we're going to click inside this chart to get the fields here. And what I'm going to do is undock, I think it's this one. We're going to undock this to kind of get a better view of this. We're going to do a few things over here. And so, um, it tells us that we want to group the category below each store location. So what we want to do is actually just click and drag our store location and put it above the categories. If you look closely, you can see a green line. If we let go, it puts those here underneath each store. So we'll click Mark Completed. Task 5 asks us to go ahead and hide all fields. And I'm realizing that the, the help button is, there we go, hiding the question. Uh, hide all the field buttons on the pivot chart. There are a couple ways to do this. In here, if you click any of these category drop-down boxes, you can click, um, let me see here. It doesn't want to show. So that's because I don't have the chart selected. Let's select the chart. There we go. And when I click this, I can click, uh, if I click the drop down here, hide all field buttons on chart, and it will disappear. You can't really see a lot of what's going on, so I'll go ahead and make it reappear for you. And uh, we also have that option from here on the Analyze tab, Hide All. We'll click Mark Completed for that. And Task 5 asks us to go ahead and apply the Style 12 to this pivot chart. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, go ahead and redock that. and. Uh, all we're going to do is go to the design tab here at the top with this table selected and we want to select the style 12. We'll click mark completed.